Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio. Welcome to the third Blender 2.8 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be exploring the Blender 2.8 beta tools, gizmos, and popovers. All the relevant links are in the description below. The tools are still located on the left side of the viewport in the toolbar. The select tool allows you to select an object in your scene. In addition, the select tool is also now the box select tool. If you simply hold down your mouse button and drag, you can box select objects. The 3D cursor allows me to left click anywhere in the scene and move the 3D cursor. The transform tool is now a combination of the grab, rotate, and scale tools from Blender 2.7. The move tool allows you to use the manipulator and move the object on any of the three axes. In addition, there are now three plane-like parts to the manipulator that allows you to move in two of three directions. So for example, if you hold down your mouse button over the blue plane, you can only move in the X and Y axes. The rotate tool allows you to smoothly rotate the object and at the same time, it will actually give you an idea of how far you are rotating the object. The scale tool allows you to use your manipulator to scale the object. And you can scale the object along any of these three axes. In addition, there are now three plane-like parts of the manipulator that allow you to scale in two of the three directions. So for example, if you hold your mouse button over the blue plane, you can only scale along the X and Y axes. The annotation tool allows you to quickly write down any annotations that you need. You can also hide these in the overlays. The measure tool allows you to measure a section of the mesh. All you need to do is click on a vertex and drag to another vertex. Blender will then show you the measurement. And you can change your measurement units under the scene tab. If you select anywhere along the measurement line and hold down your mouse button, you can then drag the line out and they determine the angle of an area. If you're in edit mode, there are many more tools that you can use to model a mesh. These tools include things such as extrude, inset, bevel, etc. The tools will change depending upon the workspace. If you have the extrude region tool selected and you click on a face, you'll notice a new gizmo. By simply dragging the gizmo, you can now extrude a region of the mesh. When you have the inset tool selected and you click on a face, you can now simply hold down the left mouse button and drag in order to inset the face. You can also do this on multiple faces. With the bevel tool, all you need to do is select an edge hold down your left mouse button and drag. And just like in Blender 2.7, if you keep your mouse button held down and use the middle mouse button, you can add edge loops. 
the loop cut tool adds a loop cut to the mesh, which you can then immediately slide to a new location by simply holding down your left mouse button. Now if you want more than one single loop cut, all you have to do is change the number of loop cuts at the very top in the header, select your area, then left click. There is a new tab that is called the Active Tool and Workspace Settings, which will give you options for each of the tools that you have active. Now this was just a quick look at some of the most often used tools. I encourage you to take some time and explore all of the tools. Popovers are a new part of the Blender interface that contains settings and tools properties. The popovers take over the job of the property settings in the toolbar from Blender 2.7. For example, if we add a UV sphere, you will notice a popover in the lower left hand corner of the viewport. If you open your popover, you will have the options of changing the properties of the UV sphere such as segments, rings, etc. Note that just like in Blender 2.7, as soon as you click away from the object, in this case the UV sphere, the popover will disappear and you cannot make any changes to the properties. I hope you found this useful. This is just a quick introduction to Blender 2.8. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.